the first time, the very first time I came to Japan, I remember, I still remember my loneliness and the discovery of new spaces and the discovery of a new world through this loneliness. I was alone in the city of Tokyo and almost all day I was taking pictures and pictures thousands of people whatever I found I whatever I encountered I I somehow wanted to to penetrate its substance to penetrate its existence. I'm not just interested in documenting things actually, but this camera became not just an eye, but something that eyes do not have, which is the possibility of entering into some phenomenon, the possibility of entering the world, and uh, I feel like the eye, the eye can, the eye alone is not enough, like, the eye alone can look the world, but there is always needing of, of something that, that makes the eye more close to the invisible, so what I do when it comes to filming is to extend somehow the existence of of my own eyes so what we what we should do what i'm trying to do when it comes to filming something is is to to continue is to extend the existence of I itself is to is to do something for to give the I something that perhaps lacks it doesn't have which is the possibility of entering in the core in the soul of uh, of the surrounding of nature it is very important for me the relationship between myself and the places that I discover. I, I always wanted to establish a deeper relationship between myself and, and a space that I was discovering. I always feel when I when I look around myself when when I carry on my existence when I carry on my life I always feel like in our reality no matter how deep is the experience we have of reality no matter how sincere our the emotion we feel but somehow in reality there is not enough there is something always missing and uh, I think the love of reality which takes which moves I think artists to make of reality the screen of their interior world or to to project to project on reality their intimate existence and uh, I always feel like the act of filming is like to taking the skin away from from reality or perhaps to take the skin 
to skin time, to skin existence. And I feel somehow that when a filmmaker or an artist with which works with images, with photography, or with filming. He's not just filming, but he's also taking away the skin from a fruit, as, as we do when we eat a banana, we, we first have to take the skin off. So, I think that filming, or art in general, is something deeply connected with nakedness, of being naked, naked naked in front of nature or naked in front of the dream my what I can what I think today is very important is somehow to have an artistic some artistic ethics there is no rule but somehow I feel artists or all the persons who are working with creation and are making of creation the reason of their life they have to understand there is no creation without ethics of creation itself which is a very hard discovery I feel like uh, what an artist does or the the meaning of of an artist's life is somehow growing and maturing not only technically not only artistically, or aesthetically, or intellectually, or or whatever, is not to to make a better work in a term of product to to make better products. It's not just a matter of products. It's a matter of discovering. an ethic which is based on freedom you have to extend time you have to nourish yourself with time and and make something out of this or find an answer or perhaps find other questions but a good creation a concrete creation always starts and perhaps brings to a materialization of time to an imagination of time itself. <laughs>